I'm Chanel Greco from Sir Paris, and in this video tutorial, I'll show you how you can use Google Apps Script to get data from Google Sheets and write it to Google Slides. This is the presentation where we're going to write our data to. Here we see the placeholders that we are going to be using, where we're going to write in our data, and this is where we're going to be adding the chart to. Now, I'm heading over to the Google Sheets file, and let's go ahead and start creating our script. And the first step is going to be to rename this project to Market Analysis. Now, now we start writing our functions. But first up, we're going to start with the constant, the presentation ID. Constants are immutable variables, so you set them once and you do not change them. What are we going to use it for? Well, we're we going to store the ID of our Google slide presentation in it because this is something that will never change. I could have chosen a normal variable, but I wanted to use a constant here. Then we're writing our main fun function, the generate presentation data and probably the most used or written line of code when you're automating something with Google Sheets, we're getting our active sheet and saving it in the variable of sheet. Then we're creating a market data variable. What are we gonna store there? Huh? We will restore the return value of this get data from sheet function. This is a function that we will be writing now. And the underscore at the end of the name of the function indicates that it's a private function that only can be called from within another function. This is just my personal preference. You do not have to write a private function. You could also just write a normal function if you wanted to. So we're getting our data range. So the range in the sheet that contains data, then we're getting the values, and then we're using the shift method that is to get rid of the header that first row, which we don't, won't be needing. We return that data, and now it's on to the next variable, chart from sheet. So here we will be sto storing the chart, which is in our Google Sheets file. And again, we are creating a private function that we will be calling. And as you notice in the function on line number nine and on line number 16, we're always passing in our sheet. So that is the reason why we're not saying spreadsheet app get after sheet in every function, but instead we did that before and we're just passing in that value. That makes our automation script a little bit faster. So we're getting the charts and then we're accessing the first chart. Uh, why is that the case? Because get charts always gives us back an array. And our specific chart will be in position one. Then we're getting the slides. So again, we're writing a function called get slides. And this time we're not passing in the sheet because it's not necessary here. Instead, what we're doing is we're using the slides app open by ID and we're using the presentation ID. We're getting all the slides and we will be returning them. Next up, we will be calling a function called write data to player slide. There we will be passing in slides and market data. So write data to player slides, and then, as I said, slides and market data. And the slide players variable contains, from all of the possible slides, we have the slide at the index one. So that is, in our presentation, the second slide. And then we're creating a traditional for loop.
Learn how to automate tasks, processes, and data handling in Google Sheets. Head over to courses.saparis.io and check out our Google Sheets automation course. We're using our slide player's slide, so the one that we stored before, and we're saying that on this specific slide, we want to replace all text that and now this is the text that we will be searching for. These are the placeholders we saw before that I mentioned. And with what will we be replacing it? With the market data index. So index on every iteration will have a different number. It's starting at zero and it's counting up till in our case, I'm not quite sure anymore, but whatever market dot, market data dot length gives back as a, as a number. And now I'm doing something that a lot of developers do, being lazy, I'm just copy pasting my, my code and swapping it out for anything that needs to be changed. I noticed here that I'm missing something actually, I need an underscore here. And you see that I'm simply working the arrays here in index and then the position zero, one, two, three, four. See how we're first referencing the name placeholders and then the queue placeholders. Now we're going to concentrate on the chart. So inserting the chart to the slide. And I've chosen to name this the visual slide. Again, we're gonna pass in our slides, and this time also the chart from sheet. So we're writing a function for this, again, a private function. There you go. And we're saying slide at index number two, which in our presentation, if counting from one is in the third position, but as you know, arrays start at zero, we're inserting our sheets chart as an image. So let's save that. Now let's run our code and see what happens. Is it gonna work or not? Are there errors? Okay, it's asking for our permission, that's a good sign. allowing the execution, it started, it completed the execution. Let's have a look at our slide, there you go, there are numbers, and here's our chart. And we have a quick look here, and these are just random numbers, nothing real, there you go, 35,000, 35,500, and so on. While you're on YouTube, why don't you also check out my other Google Apps Script video tutorials? And would you mind subscribing to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below? Because every week I publish new video tutorials about Google Workspace and also how to automate these tools, and I would not want you to miss out on any of those videos.